The Fox 5 Surprise Squad is powered by United Nissan, Dollar Loan Center, and Helix Electric. All right, everybody. So uh, don't even try to hold back the tears because uh, this one is going to get you. A lot of little boys want to grow up to be just like their dads, but not many dads are professional bull riders. So when the Fox 5 Surprise Squad learned about uh, a little boy's extreme dream through a special school project, well, we saddled up for this stampede of a surprise. So the Fox 5 Surprise Squad is on our way to surprise two little boys who are PBR fans. But they are more than just fans. This sport holds a very special place in their hearts. Hi, I'm Monica Jackson with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. What's your name? Jet. Hi, Jet. You are Jay. So nice to meet you guys. I heard that you, you wrote a book report and it's all about PBR and your love of it. Why do you love PBR so much? Well, because my dad, um, he rode bulls. I want to be a bull rider just like my dad. I hope to be just like him someday. I started on steers whenever I was his age. How does it make you feel when you're riding? Well, it gets your adrenaline going. We're getting ready to go to the um, PBR here. It was a birthday present for me. Hopefully I can get to meet my favorite bull rider, J.B. Mooney. Why are you getting so emotional, sweetheart? Because it was something my dad did. It was because he passed away. Still kind of get emotional about it. Uh, Bo, their father, uh, passed away. He passed away from cancer. This was his hat, and um, it says in here, it says, custom made especially for Bo Kellogg. When PBR first heard these boys' stories, we couldn't do enough for them. We wanted to pull out all the stops and make this a the most memorable moment of their lives. Okay, here's the deal. So I just want you guys to come outside with me, okay? Hey, come this way. We've got radar. We've got all right, all right, all right. And we got chicken on the chain. <laughs> awesome. I've seen these ones before on TV. And are you in shock right now? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I have another surprise for you. You ready? Yes, ma'am. What are you thinking? Come on over. That's J.B. Mooney. That's J.B. Mooney. Yes. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Great. Tonight, I'd like to invite y'all to walk down the blue carpet with me. And as my guest, take us to the world finals. Come watch me ride. Thank you. Yes, sir. No problem. I love this sport because my dad did it a lot. And um, I just look up to him. And I look up to you, too. I appreciate it. Thank you. He called me and told me about this deal they wanted me to do. And I didn't hesitate. I was all in. He wants to do it because his father did it. He's got a reason behind it, and he's got the passion for it, you can already tell, so. You'll be seeing him a lot more in a couple years. To, to have bulls drive up in the front yard and to meet their hero, JB, was really special. And I do believe that God has a way of taking care of children and their dads looking down on them and happy for them. You just kind of think about them and how he did that, and it feels good. To get to do it with my family is like a gift. Good job, Monica. Oh, that little guy. Oh. oh, Monica, I know it's tough. I know we'll... Well, this week marks the second anniversary of their father, Bo's passing. He's survived by his five sons and his loving wife. Thank you, Monica, for doing such a great job yeah. and I know bringing the, us his story. Yeah, and I know these are tough, and it's tough not to, you know, as journalists, sometimes we, they tell us we have to put the tough front, right. and we have hearts, and Monica, you have one of the biggest hearts. So to give us, present the story to us, a little boy going through so much, I can't even imagine losing a parent at such a young age. So thank you for that story, and thanks to our wonderful surprise squad, and to uh, Mooney, the, the writer, they did such a great job, and for that little guy. And I mean, all right, all right, all right, the bull. I know, the bull who's too. there. So again, just yeah. a beautiful story, and you brought some joy to those little guys.